and you can end up putting it up here somewhere. Okay, now this is the continuation of um, Ellen McDonald's artwork, as we were talking previously. And this is the most uh, interesting, uh, well, all of them are, but this is very interesting. This is, to me, this is my, my version of explaining that start very busy and then goes very light this way and I, I said to Ellen what it means and he said well just think about it what it means to you and I said well this is this is looks like the bush and the birds are gonna fly away to the sky but he has got his his explanation for this art of course that's one of the the, the beauty about the art that we all absorb differently so let's hear from the the artist himself that what it means and if he Ellen please give us an insight love to well, yeah of course first thing is all impressions are true this is the point all the stories all impressions are true the artists make something and all the impressions that the people bring that's what you want you want people to bring their own impressions but I can tell you what I was thinking when I was making it this is based on the idea of the story of creation it starts off with pure light even in physics they tell us that the universe is made up of photons, virtual photons, little pieces of light. And they become more and more elaborate, and we have more and more layers, more and more complexity. So here we have it. This is the beginning of creation, the creation of matter that started out as little filaments of light. This is the story of creation. Okay, so started out as a, as a, as a, a light, as you were saying, yep. the clear light. Yeah. becomes and more and more complex, more and more dense, and then forms matter. But even matter is still only made of light. Okay, all right. Thank you for that. That's There's lovely. one more story about this one. Yes. I had it in a gallery, and a yeah. gentleman asked me, could I put it up this way? As, a, as in... The as other in, way. As, as the other in, way. As in this way. I said, yes, okay, yeah. I said yes, for $3,000 you can. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> Of course, there is no no price value on the art, uh, is it really? It's a, is no. the, uh, but as a, as a, as a price wise, but of course, yeah. The, I'm more yeah. interested, uh, yeah, if I cover costs and a little bit on top, and I have a good story that means something to the person, then that's worth more to me. That goes on my blog, and I keep the story, and the story becomes part of the painting. That's worth more to me. Oh, lovely. Yeah, the, for people to appreciate it, isn't it? That's exactly. more, more the yep. value for you than yep. anything else, it isn't it, really? To, it continues to have a life long after yes. it leaves here. Okay, lovely. Mm -hmm. Thank you for that. Pleasure. Okay, we continue into the next one. We have got two paintings here. We start with the top one, Ellen. Yep. This is the one, actually is the, from our beginning of, of, of conversation that yep. I was trying to say that your um, uh, cartoons has got too many writings yep. as you have explained that here it is without too many writings and, and this is explain what you were trying to do say 15 years ago sure. uh, or 14 years ago I think when we met first wow was it that okay. long? Yeah, it was oh actually, my god well it goes 1998 I think sure um, so I'm, I'm not sure how many years if I counted all right okay let's see what's um, what's this one all about please sure. okay all thought systems talk about the basis of creation being a void but the trouble with the word void is it sounds like an emptiness when really I'm saying it's not an emptiness, it's a fullness. It's a fullness that we cannot perceive, we cannot understand it. And so what I'm saying is creation here is manifesting, is condensing like uh -huh. water droplets out of this field of fullness. A lot of people don't realize the night sky is not black. It's all colors. And, but we as humans don't have the receptors in our eyeballs and our brains for the other colors. And so we register black. Okay, that's interesting. Mm. Yes. So okay. this is the story of creation condensing out of not the void, not out of nothing, but out of a field of everything. Okay. Well, thank you for that. And the next one down, we are moving. Sure. How about this one? Okay. So this is me reducing processes to just fields of color. And so here over here, I don't want really to get too gory about it, but the brown, in a way, represents all the conflicts. You can think of this as congealed blood. You can think of 
the light pouring through here as uh, like a tracer bullet, like a rocket, like an armament, you know, yeah. and it's causing another death and there's some fresh blood. But the point I'm making, the hope is the same element, the same use of light that creates the flash, that creates the bullet, that creates the explosion, also lights all of the cameras and all of the and Facebook and the YouTube and the computers that see everything. And now we see in Libya and these places at the moment, it's cameras that is no, a new use of light that's causing these things to become liberated. More light, more cameras, more light everywhere. So that's kind of what that's about. The hope that comes from the correct use of light. Okay, lovely. Thank you for that. Uh, do we have any more painting left? No. No, that's it. That's it at the moment. <laughs> but All right. Of course, but and we have to mention, these are here because they replaced a couple that have sold, you know, so people are okay, interested and... Yeah, cool. Good. Thank you for that. Thank you. All right. Thanks. Well, this is... Um, we will have an uh, interview in the, the long term with Alan, with his other art paints. So, um, we got to sit down and have our breakfast. Yeah. All right, Alan. Thank you for that. Thank but, you, Ray. Yeah. Let's eat. <laughs> Thank you.